Okay, so I think a lot of people are going to be very confused on how to solve this math problem. But uh, maybe you will be the exception. Let's go ahead and take a look at our problem. So the main question here is which is the correct ratio? And obviously this is a multiple choice math question, but let me go ahead and read the problem. It says, on a farm, the ratio of cows to goats is one to three, and the ratio of pigs to goats is three to four. What is the ratio of cows to pigs? All right, now, if you can figure this out, well, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section and feel free to use a calculator. But uh, I'm gonna show you the exact answer in just one second, then of course, we're gonna walk through exactly how to solve this interesting problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time, we have a uh, multiple choice math question. So our first uh, answer option here, A is one to four, B is four to nine, C is five to four, D is nine to four, and E is four to one. So once again, on a farm, the ratio of cows to goats is one to three, and the ratio of goats, uh, of pigs to goats is three to four. What is the ratio of cows to pigs? All right, so let's go to take a look at the answer. The correct answer is B, four to nine. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you're definitely going to get a happy face and A plus a 100% and a certificate of excellence for being a certified professional in the area of ratios and proportions. And uh, this problem is not that easy. A lot of uh, even really strong people that are strong in math are going to be very confused on how to get the answer. So if you're like, all right, Mr. YouTube Math Man, just hurry up and get to the solution. Well, yeah, let's go ahead and start. But uh, once again, don't feel bad if you are confused and uh, maybe you're in doubt of this answer. Well, I'll go ahead and show you at the end of this video. We'll kind of like verify that in fact, this is the correct solution. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. So the first thing is we are dealing with a ratio problem. Now, what is a ratio? Well, in simple terms, a ratio is a fraction. So right here, for example, I'm saying one, two, three. So we can express a ratio as one, two, three, or we could write it this way, one, two, three, or we could even write it this way, one, two, three. Now, what makes a ratio a ratio? Well, basically the numerator and denominator of these respective fractions um, have the same units of measure. So here you might be saying, well, we're, we're talking about uh, cows and goats. Well, we're really counting animals, okay? So this is a big broader topic in mathematics called uh, ratios, rates, and proportions, but uh, effectively that is what a ratio is. All right, now uh, getting back to the problem. Now, one thing that you always want to be aware of when it comes to a math multiple choice uh, problem is to see if you can use the answers to figure this problem out. Okay, so you can go through a process of elimination. But in this case, I think a lot of people will be confused on uh, you know, how they could possibly use the answer choices to get to the right answer. So uh, probably the best option here is just to go ahead and solve it directly. All right, now let me go ahead and show you a very simple uh, ratio and proportion problem for a uh, problem for those of you that are like, yes, indeed, I understand ratios, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Well, let's review a basic problem, then of course we'll get into this solution right now. Okay, so what if we had this situation right here? So the ratio of uh, cows to goats is one to three. All right, so let's say this is given information. And let's say the question was, all right, so the ratio of cows to goats is one to three. How many cows do we have if we have 15 goats? All right, so the way you solve this is to set up a proportion. Now a proportion is two equal fractions or two equal uh, rates or ratios. So what we're gonna, well, what we're gonna do is gonna uh, write C. Okay, this is our variable. We're looking for how many cows when we have 15 goats and the ratio is one to three, one cow for every uh, three goats. 
So what we're going to do here is simply use the cross product or cross multiply. So 3 times C is 3C and 1 times 15 is 15. And then we solve for C by dividing both sides of the equation by 3. So we get C is equal to 5. All right, so that means that there is uh, 5 cows when we have 15 goats. And that makes sense because this fraction here, 5 over 15, we can simplify to 1 to 3, which, of course, is the ratio of cows to goats. Now, hopefully most of you out there are familiar with uh, solving these types of uh, ratio and proportion problems. And if you are not, well, this is a huge deal in mathematics. I'll give you some suggestions on how you can improve in this material. But uh, anyways, this is a simple example of how to solve a ratio problem. But this ratio is, uh, or this problem is more interesting because we have two different ratios going on and we're asked to find another ratio. So what do we do? Well, let's go ahead and uh, define the problem here. Of course, you always want to use the rule of three when you're solving any math word problem. Read the thing at least three times. Uh, obviously, if you read this thing one time, it's probably going to be confusing. So reread it, take your time. And now let's go ahead and start uh, defining uh, this, uh, the various aspects of this problem. All right, so we have one ratio, cows to goats, and then we have another ratio here of pigs to goats, and we're given uh, these uh, specific ratios, and we're um, uh, asked to find this other ratio of, of uh, cows to pigs. <laughs> even, even I have to reread this here, uh, not to be confused. All right, so let's use simple variables like a C for cows and a G for goats and a P for pigs, just to kind of... Uh, you know, define everything that's going on in this problem. All right, so here we go. So the ratio of cows to goats is one to three. So this is one ratio. And then we have another ratio uh, for pigs uh, to goats. That's three to four. And the question is, what is the ratio uh, for cows to pigs? So this is what we're looking for right here. All right, so what do you think? Uh, how can we approach this problem? Well, let's uh, go ahead and discuss that right now. Now, by the way, there is multiple ways, different paths that you can take to solve this problem. Now, uh, the way I'm going to solve it may not be the way that you solved it if you got this right. But uh, again, here's the thing. Whatever you do in mathematics in terms of uh, solving a problem, it's really important that you're able to kind of justify your conclusion. So write these things down, write these steps down, and act as if you were going to turn this into, oh, let's say, a math teacher on a test. You need to justify your results. All right, so what can we do here? Well, we have this given information, and we're asked to find this ratio. So does anything stand out here? Well, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, it looks like uh, the goats are common uh, between these two ratios. So maybe we need to focus in on the goats, uh, the number of goats that we have in this situation on this farm, right? So we have cows, goats, and pigs, but we do know the ratios, these two ratios, and we have goats, uh, goats in this ratio and goats in this ratio. But uh, over here, we have three goats, and over here we have four goats. So how can we kind of look at this where we can look at both ratios that, you know, basically have them both be in common? Well, this is a little bit of a hint, common. So what we want to do here is find the common denominator. So in other words, we're going to rewrite these fractions such that the denominators here are the same. Okay, and when we uh, do that, we're going to have basically equivalent fractions, but we're going to be able to uh, basic, basically have uh, ratios, two ratios that we can compare the same number of goats, and then we can look at the number of cows and pigs that we have. All right, so how can we change uh, these fractions? Now here, um, uh, obviously I kind of wrote this out, L the LCD, the lowest common denominator is 12. So hopefully you know, if you, for example, were trying to add one third plus three fourths, that the LCD would in fact be 12. All right, so what do we need to do here to fix these fractions up such that the LCD is 12? Well, here we're gonna have to multiply this by four. And if we're gonna multiply this denominator by four, we're gonna multiply this numerator by uh, four. And here we have to multiply this denominator by three, and we're gonna multiply this numerator by three. Okay, so let's go to do that right now. And here is what we have. All right, so the results of doing that is going to be 4 over 12 and 9 over 12 for our ratios. Okay, so I did the work, so keep that in mind because I'm going to show you the answer right now. 
Okay, so here we go. So cows to goats, okay, our ratio for cows to goats is one to three. Okay, remember it's one to three, but an equivalent uh, fraction for that is four to 12. Okay, because we can reduce four to 12 down to one to three. Okay, so if you have four cows and 12 goats, that is a ratio of one to three. How about pigs to goats? Well, it's nine to 12, and that is equivalent to the ratio three to four. All right, but the advantage of doing this is now we have the same number of goats in this situation. Okay, so we, now we can kind of compare how many cows and pigs we have because the question is asking, what is the ratio of cows to pigs? Well, how many cows and how many pigs do we have now because we have the same number of goats in common? Well, we have four cows and nine pigs, so we need to compare those two numbers, and this is, becomes very easy. So our ratio for cows to pigs, our cows, we have four cows. We're going to put that here. And for pigs, we have nine pigs. So here is our final answer for two nine. All right, so hopefully this makes sense. But let's suppose you were saying, I don't know, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I don't think this is right. You know, uh, let's kind of you know, maybe verify this. Well, let's go ahead and do that right now. And uh, before we do that, though, I am hoping that you could go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Now, I'm definitely not um, shy to ask for help. Matter of fact, can't even be shy to be on YouTube. Just got to put your content out. And uh, if any of you are interested in doing videos for YouTube, well, I strongly uh, would encourage you just to, you know, all of us are experts in something. So if you're an expert in a particular, you know, uh, subject or a skill, get on YouTube. It's a great platform to help others. But uh, I definitely need your help. Uh, to grow my channel. Okay, now why would I want to grow my channel? Well, as a math teacher, I want to teach as many people as possible. And the only way I can grow this channel, uh, well, on YouTube, is to have people subscribe. So this is a big deal, and it's a great way to show support for my work. So hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. All right, now before we get into the rest of this problem, we're going to look at verifying this. If you are confused with uh, ratios, uh, rates, proportions. Basically, we're talking about is uh, basic algebra. Now, this is taught in basic math as well. So I'm going to leave links to all my full main math courses in the description of this video. Uh, I would suggest for this particular level of math, uh, check out like my pre-algebra or algebra one course. Now, if you are not a math student and just want to kind of relearn math, well, then check out my math skills rebuilder course. I start with basic math. We start from the very, very beginning in this course, and then we work our way up through algebra, geometry, even some trigonometry and some probability and statistics. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this up. Now, we already have the right answer uh, for to nine, but let's just double check this, right? So this is a good way of doing this. Okay, so here uh, we have uh, the same number of goats. So we have 12 goats, right? So let's just kind of write out 12 goats. So we have one, two, uh, three, four, five, six. So these are 12 goats right here. Now we have four cows. So here's our four cows, one, two, three, four. And here is our nine pigs, right? So uh, we, we have nine pigs, we have 12 cows, and we have four, oh, sorry, four cows, excuse me, nine pigs and 12 goats. All right, so let's just kind of put all these animals on the farm. And now let's go ahead and compare these ratios, all right? So again, we have four, uh, 12, and nine. All right, so remember the given information uh, was uh, the following, okay? So for cows to goats, the ratio is one to three. So what would we, you know, how do we, you know, kind of get to this? Well, we would say, okay, we have four cows and we're gonna compare that to our goats, which is what? Well, we have uh, 12 goats, so that's four over 12, which is one to three. Okay, so this ratio checks out because we have four cows to 12 goats. We reduce this fraction down, it is one to three. And we could do the same thing with pigs to goats. We know the ratio is three to four, but we could just count these up. So here we have nine pigs and 12 goats. So when we compare, 9 over 12, well, this fraction can be simplified to 3 over 4. And then, of course, if we are, you know, pretty uh, sure that we have the correct number of animals here, if we want to define the ratio of, uh, let me go ahead and show you down here, um, cows to pigs, well, we just count up. Well, we have 4 cows and 9 pigs, 
So that is going to be 4 over 9. Okay, so hopefully this makes sense. And this is a type of problem that uh, those of you that have to still take tests in life, uh, this is definitely something that you will encounter. This type of problem would uh, likely be like on an SAT or ACT or some sort of college admissions exam, well, outside of the SAT or ACT, or maybe graduate school. So again, a little bit trickier problem than a, re a regular run-of-the-mill ratio problem, but don't feel bad if you got this wrong. The main idea here is that you learn something, and if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.